गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास टेंथ प्रैक्टिकल दिस इज अवर थर्ड प्रैक्टिकल फ्रॉम द मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स चैप्टर ओके फ्रॉम दैट चैप्टर वी आर हैविंग ए प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज एक्सपेरिमेंट थ्री एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू ऑब्जर्व द एक्शन ऑफ जिंक आयरन कॉपर एंड एल्यूमिनियम मेटल्स ऑन द फॉलोइंग सॉल्ट सॉल्यूशंस व्हाट आर द फॉलोइंग सॉल्ट सॉल्यूशंस we have taken zinc sulfate solution iron sulfate there is a ferrous sulfate copper sulfate solution and aluminum sulfate solution al2so4 pol3 the correct formula is al2so4 pol3 and we have taken four metals what are the four metals uh, i have taken table 1 aluminum metal table 2 copper metal table 3 zinc metal and table 4 iron metal what are the four solutions i have taken i have indicating as a point so one the beaker 1 for all the tables are copper sulfate beaker 2 for all the tables are zinc sulfate beaker 3 for all the tables are iron sulfate and beaker 4 last but not the least it is the aluminum sulfate so we are here with the experiments i have made arrangement students focus here this is the arrangement okay so i have made your table 1 table 1 is this You are seeing students four beakers, four beakers are arranged here. This is numbered as one. It is for number one. I have told you copper sulfate. So table one, this is copper sulfate, a blue color liquid. You are seeing table two is also first number of beaker is copper sulfate. Table three is also copper sulfate, and table four is also copper sulfate. I have taken. Beaker one for every table is copper sulfate solution. Then beaker two, this is the position two. Beaker two is zinc sulfate solution. So students, this is my zinc sulfate, and I have taken zinc sulfate solution. This one. This is zinc sulfate solution. Okay. So zinc sulfate solution is beaker two here. It is zinc sulfate solution in water. Zinc sulfate solution, zinc sulfate solution, and zinc sulfate solution. Then I have taken third table is your iron sulfate. So students, it is your iron sulfate. You see iron sulfate. So this is iron sulfate solution because the sul sul iron sulfate is changed to ferric sulfate by the exposure to the atmosphere and sunlight. So we are getting a brown liquid here. Only instead, if it is ferrous sulfate, we would have got a sea green color, greenish color. Ferrous sulfate. It is now ferric sulfate. I am telling you, it is an information students. If you see anywhere, ferrous sulfate, ferrous sulfate written box is turned to brown color. That means it is not ferrous sulfate. It is your ferric sulfate. Okay. It is a atmosphere oxidation has occurred. So I have taken three for each table is ferrous sulfate solution. You can call it ferric sulfate now. And the fourth for each sulfate is your aluminium sulfate. So I have taken aluminium sulfate, students. This is your aluminium sulfate. I have taken aluminium sulfate for the fourth one. You are seeing aluminium sulfate solution, aluminium sulfate, aluminium sulfate, and this is also aluminium sulfate. So now four solutions are made. Now I have taken metals. What are the metal? First table I have taken aluminium metal. So what is this? This is aluminium metal, students. This is aluminium metal. So I am putting aluminium metal in all the four beakers here. Please focus here. All the beakers. So I am putting aluminium metal in all the beakers. Okay. I am allowing it for the reaction, students. Then in the beaker two I have taken. What is the table two? Copper metal. So table two is your copper metal. You are seeing copper metal. So copper metal, you see copper tonning. Students, this is your copper tonnings. Nicely you can see tonnings means cut pieces of the copper machinery. Uh, it is from the lathe machine we got this type of copper tonning. So it is reddish brown, shiny color copper tonning. So I, I am adding. Copper turning in the table two here. One, then two, then three, and then four. I have added copper. Then third beaker is your third table is your zinc. 
So students, this is your zinc dust. This is your zinc dust. You see, this is zinc dust. Okay. So I am adding zinc dust to the third one. So you add all the four here. One, here, two, then three. Please focus here. Three. Then four. I am adding zinc here. And the fourth one is your iron fillings. This is your iron powder. Iron fillings. So in the fourth table, in the fourth table, I am taking iron, 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 and so students. This is iron, and this is zinc. This is your aluminium. So now we will wait for some time. Okay, this will take a little time for the exam. What do you observe? What do we expect? What is your What is your knowledge? Which metal is reactive? Which metal will replace the other metal from the solution? We have taken aqueous solution. So if you are setting it for some time, you will see the reaction after some time. Okay, I will tell you the reactions after some time. Here you are seeing magnificent reaction is occurring. You see, started. It has started reacting, students. I'm just making stirring it so that we get a better result. Now, students. Now you will come to the observation table. You will make the observation table. We will take every metal and they are reacting with aqueous copper sulfate, aqueous zinc sulfate, aqueous aluminium sulfate, aqueous ferrous sulfate. I have put question marks here. Here in this question marks, you can nicely write that which metal is reactive, which metal will change the other metal solution and replace it. So that is your duty. From this, you will tell me what could be the products over here. Okay, that is for your knowledge and I think I am giving you the data. Conclusion, when you are making a conclusion, in the conclusion naturally you will get it from this practical. Aluminum metal is more reactive than, aluminum is more reactive than zinc. Then iron, then copper. So this is the reactivity series and this is your, this is your practical 3. Okay, thank you.